back to my channel uh, if you have not like and subscribe the channel please go to the google or 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 youtube and just search for the alien tag champion and you will open uh, this alien tag champion and this channel is if you are new to this channel this channel is regarding anything related to the mobile operating system microsoft intune airwatch mobile run, right android windows anything related to technical so if you are a techie guy and you want to learn something more how to manage your android ios windows mac os linux this is the one of the good uh, the channel where you can learn through the video so um, in this video actually i am going to share uh, how being as an admin what are the things required to set up the intune tenant for any of the customers right so if you are new to this microsoft intune ecosystem so here this is the microsoft intune portal and if you go to the and so as soon you i have uh, made the video how you can activate and purchase the license from the microsoft intune so once you get into the portal you have to simply go to the micro tenant administration and here you have to go to the connected status so you have uh, uh, and you know right what you want to manage right whether you want to manage the ios devices if you want to manage ios devices then you have to set up this uh, apns certificate with your tenant so this this is the mm, recommended uh, uh, to connect your microsoft tenant with apns server so if you want to manage your uh, Apple iOS or iPod devices you have to connect your Intune tenant with Apple APNS certificate I have already made video in detail how you can connect but I am just showing, showing a brief how you can connect so if you see I have already connected and my uh, tenant is connected to this one so I cannot re reconnect and show you again so you can go through um, my uh, channel and watch the video so this is uh, the one for Apple iOS. If you want to use the uh, DEP, so you see the DEP, so device enrollment program. So if you are working for organizations and want to use the device enrollment program, earlier we call Apple Business Manager, now we call AD Automated Device Enrollment. So Apple keep changing their name. So whatever you call like DEP device enrollment program, Apple Business Manager or um, automated device enrollment pro program now they are coming uh, 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 there is a different technology they they they're calling it name so don't bother about the name it's, it's all it's all same so if you want to use uh, the out of box enrollment for the company owned devices uh, you can uh, you need to integrate your tenant with the DEP okay so you just click on that and you see for APNS, you have to select Apple a, a MDM certificate and for this automated device enrollment, you have to click on this one and then add the token here. So I and and this is the very simple steps, right? You have to select and download the public key certificates and then you have to go to this Apple business manager and give the Apple ID and then upload the token. It's very simple. Uh, I will show you in next video. In fact, okay. So this is the the first thing is APNS. Second is the DP. If you want to use, if if you don't want to use, just APNS would be enough. And the, the third thing is Apple Volume Purchase Program. So what is Volume Purchase Program? So this is Volume Purchase Program. Right? If you want to silently push the apps, any applications, public or purchased applications like free or paid applications through Intune. You have to integrate your tenant with volume purchase program so what you have to do you have to just create it here and you have to go to the so first you need to sign up with the for uh, apple uh, volume purchase program so you can go to the apple business manager so if you open this you see business.apple.com you see and and here you have to sign in with your uh, Apple Business Manager um, ID and then you have to give the token name and Apple ID and upload the VBB token. That's a, this is the very simple step. I, if you want to learn more about this, I will create. So 
uh, and then you can just approve the application from the uh, um, volume um, Apple Business Manager and the, your application will show here this is the uh, third thing right the first is um, APNS second is DP third is PPP right and these two uh, it will just expire date it's showing there is nothing you have to worry about this right so to manage your iOS devices efficiently three things is to be enabled the first is the most important is APNS and it's only one year validity so every one every year you have to renew and then if you want to use the DP or ABM or AD you have to integrate with um, upload the token with DP and similar for VPP and let's come to the Android so what do you need to manage your Android devices the first is um, you have to uh, uh, integrate or make connection with uh, Andro um, Google Play Store right so here you see that the, these are the prerequisites and you see uh, my uh, tenant is already integrated with, with this one it's very simple you just need a, a one gmail account and uh, i would not recommend to use the gmail account use um, company email address as a gmail account and then integrate with so this is the uh, important thing and once you mm, once you already integrated it will see the success and 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 you can sync all the applications so uh, this is the these two are things to manage um, Android devices if you have uh, want to manage the defender of course or if you want to use the any MDT um, mobile threat detections right you you, you want to use with for um, to 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 the endpoints like iOS Android or Windows you can use that any MDT can, um, any MDT tools like uh, like for CrowdStrike um, there are many um, MDT tool is there like lookout for business right so you can use that uh, if you on a Microsoft store for business uh, you can also integrate but I would not recommend to use but if you have plan you can use it certificate authority if you have on-premise exchange you can use it window autopilot you can you can configure it here right so for windows autopilot if you have plan to use in hybrid hybrid mode you need the connectors so you need to install the connectors in tune connectors for active directory so that and you need to open the required port as well it's normally 443 uh, or there are some more ports uh, for the autopilot in hybrid mode so this is the mm, the the only thing you want to integrate if you uh, and don't forget to if you have the managing mac machine with jmf you can also integrate of course you will not able to manage the mm, uh, the entire mac machine as like similar like or uh, like J jmf but but you can integrate that jmf uh, mm, uh, uh, with intune so that you can evaluate the intune compliance through right so you can do as well here uh, so and 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 the interesting thing if you see if you go to you see by platform wise they have also introduced chrome os linux chrome os is in preview mode public preview so you can use it so now microsoft intune has windows ios mac os android chrome os and linux so which is actually good i see uh, windows ios and android is you can efficiently manage but not i don't know about mac os and chrome os and linux so it's still i am exploring so as soon as um, i feel confident i will make video on this i hope you will learn how what are the things you require to set up the microsoft tenant for any customer and what are the things you require to as soon as you get and sign in sign up for the microsoft endpoint for any so being as a consultant or for being as a uh, intune admin you know what to do what are the prerequisites to set up your microsoft tenant for for any organizations i hope you have learned something new and and being as a, a new techie uh, on you want to become a tech champion on endpoint manager just like and subscribe the channel and you'll get the latest video and inf informative uh, 
informations about these um, endpoints okay till then thank you have a good day